Well, that was nerve-wracking as hell. Oh, yeah. All right, gentlemen, our bladesmith's task was to use five days at their home forge to fabricate a cutlass in their signature style of their own design. Doug, let's start with you and Tobin's blade. You have a weight here that is so blade heavy, it was hard to control. But we have an edge here that held up. On the first cut with a fish, nice and easy. On the kill test, sliced through two layers of clothing, it cut through the skin and actually hit bone on the other side. They're looking, they're like, it's heavy, it's giant. <laughs> well, see, I only overbuilt it because I thought, well, I don't know what they're going to do with it. Dave? Well, in the strength test, you can see that we wound up with multiple chips in the blade. But in general, it held up very well. It's got a lot of weight, so yeah, sure, it's going to smash through those boxes. And it actually wound up cutting through a lot of that wood, so that tells me, great, it's a good cutter. But the blade's heavy. Jay, what do you think of the overall construction and fit and finish? It's neat looking. It's got a decent sweep to it. I mean, if you had cut it down an inch all the way down, I think you would have had a much better performing edge on this. But, you know, the weight and the size are just a bit overbearing. I mean, this would be a great cutlass for a fantasy ogre. Well, at least nobody broke a shoulder or anything. Uh -oh. <laughs> all right, let's move on to Ron's blade. Well, it's a very, very fat convex and we've seen a test in the past having that big fat convex on the end will just stop your blade from cutting dave when i was using ron's sword I, I mentioned that the handle was more comfortable than the other that's not to say that this is a comfortable handle i mean it's incredibly rough with this leather wrap just kind of glued in i mean there's so much room here that's just unnecessary that d loop Took a lot of time. Oh, it kicked my butt. Compared to Tobin's blade, Ron's blade here is a lot more balanced. I can recover on the backswing and I can slice through and chop down. When we did the sharpness test, because of the balance of the blade, I cut through the rope based on velocity alone and a rough edge. All right, judges, is there a blade on this table? that is clearly a forged and fire champion over the other blade. Doug? Yes. Dave? Yeah. Jay? Yes. All right, gentlemen, let's go tell our bladesmiths. I know I need to make a move. I got a big concern right here with Jason. He does not have a glove on. I'm more concerned about my blade than I am burning myself. He's going to burn his hand. Oh, no. He just burned the heck out of his hand.